So, hello everyone, welcome to the review reaction tour of Realis here, episode 7. See if our Realis can, I don't know, stop bullying Aisha maybe. The poor freaking best little elf girl, man. Dark elf chick. And he hates her. Holy shit, man. The hell is the hate last episode, right? He's that takes the princess on a date, you know. Liska, you know, she's all sassy, get the laugh thing. And then Aisha is the next one, like. Can, can I leave? <laughs> yeah, like, what, what am I here for? He's gonna net the red. I just wanna, I wanna, I wanna get the lap thing too, you know? I just wanna touch laps. Like, oh, this poor girl, man. She, he constantly keeps trying to, you know, seduce him, right? Yeah, and he just keeps, like, being mean to her. Oh, it's your stupid elf girl. Like, it's really, it's like, it's really mean to her. Oh, I don't know what I'm laughing for. I, I just. I, what's wrong with him? I don't understand. The Levi's are alone. It's, but honestly, no, seriously. It is somewhat funny. But at the same time, though, he is really mean to Aisha, and she's she's obviously the most like thirsty wife to do the one that is most. I mean, the other one like you know someone they also wanted right, but she's the one that was the most. <laughs> but he's like, oh, shut up, elf girl. It's like, what? Does he just hate elves? Yeah, what? What who knows, right? Uh, anyway, let's episode two. three, two, one, and go. But after this, we're gonna watch Jaya, the great Jaya. I won't be defeated. Okay. Like some elements here, yeah, yeah, the four elements, and you know, light and dark, yeah, like the most. It's, it's a yeah, 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 the different elements, you know, fire, water, yeah, yeah. like every order, is every basically, no, but like fantasy, you know, magic, yeah, the four elements, and light and darkness, yeah, and yummy. Same in, you know, Bakarina, right, and so, yeah, but I mean, this is like the most basic formula for a role playing setting, right, you have the six elements. Exactly, she has wind magic, and then princess has like ice magic. This seems kind of random, I don't know, this doesn't really fit their... Yeah, I would say I think that it doesn't really fit the personality, she's like an ice magic, I don't know. It's just kind of, she's ice magic, but I don't know, it doesn't really like, fit like an ice personality. <laughs> I don't see the... Oh, okay, we see the other leaders, yeah. I mean, obviously, the mermaid lady is going to be water, right? Like, that, 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 I mean, that makes sense, because she's like a mermaid, she's going to have water magic. You know, yeah, but why does Liska have uh, ice belly for? Or water belly, that's what, but yeah. But when he was like Darth Manic, I, said, I, I, think, I would think that Ponte guy should be Darth Manic, right? Not only because it's like purple and dark color, but also because it's like a mental thing, which is usually dark magic, some kind of telepathic. Yeah, I mean, I would I would assume that poltergeist sounds like an undead magic, right? Yeah, like using ghosts and so on, so necromancer magic. So the main character is a bad guy, clearly. It's in dark magic, right? Mm, a dark magician it is. No, but I think that sounds um, the most fair, right? Be like a dark magician. Yeah. It's incredibly hot as always. I don't understand how it's so hot in here, but it's not that. It's very cold outside. <laughs> not very cold, but colder. Um. It's um, it's like a sauna every day in my in my house. Hmm. But it is colder, it's cooler now than the last month. Last month was insanely hot. This is the Vifus. See, I would guess that you know also has water magic, right? Mm. I mean, if it's a dark elf to have like wind magic, he's kind of, kind of like a sword, sword dancer kind of girl, so I mean, it's fit generally. You would think the little toy might probably have like earth magic, if it's kind of animal. Uh, or life magic, I suppose, because it's like an innocent little girl, but. That's more like her character. Yeah, I would feel it. You know, her animal control feels like kind of, you know, green. It feels like earth or earth, yeah, earth magic or like forest magic. But that's true for dark elf too, though, I suppose. But uh... Ooh, adventurous. Oh my God, now it's an even more easy character. I'm like guild or something. Yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, some kind of sassy girl, of course, from Angry Tomboy. Typical hero guy, the you know blonde guy. Yeah, typical mantle there. Very heroic. And then a uh, thirsty, thirsty witch girl. 
The classic party members, yeah. Oh, this, oh, this guy's also very heroic, though. Okay, are we gonna follow the... Well, I guess he's like leveling up by sending out his poltergeist ninja samurai guy, is ben Benny Mauru, whatever you call him, Benki, I guess. Yeah, setting out his Benki. Do his own XP <laughs> grinding. Very powerful magic poltergeist if you can get all his XP and so on by sending out your, your ghost guy to, to farm for you. Yeah, like, if you also get the XP, I mean, if it's like a nice like, game, right? Not just like loot, but you'll be like, ah, I also get XP points every kill he gets. Very effective, so playing some kind of multi-controlled character. Doubling your XP there. Uh, what? Salamander? It looks more like some kind of octopus. Something. No, it has a tentacles, I don't know. What? No, it had like tentacles on the side, I don't know. This is what? What? Is that a salamander? Maybe the face, but... Um. Yeah. It's more like a salamander now, but... Okay, so they can't... <laughs> uh, very weird like a salamander, it's like an acid thing going on. Yeah, now it looks more like a lizard, now when it stands up. Kind of like a T-Rex or something. <laughs> Man, it's going Goblin Slayer on them. Oh no, he falls! <laughs> of course, she said, you know, typical you know, rogue tomboy thief girl can have some bombs, right? <laughs> I like this, this own adventure. No, he's gonna die! What happens if he dies? Then can he die? Can he create a new one? You know, he's a poltergeist, right? He's the king's poltergeist, so what happens if he dies? Maybe not. He's like, it cost me 10 mana points to need a new one. Yeah, they look, look more like a lizard. Oh, he's carrying her. Oh my god, so he's seducing the tomboy. Get another waifu! Yeah, that's right. He's gonna, he's freaking, you know, his side getting some waifus there on the side, man. While, he, while his, you know, main body is smashing the elf and the princess, his uh, ghost body is smashing some, uh, yeah, some, some uh, tomboy rogue girl. Oh my god, man. Or teeth, whatever she is, but yeah. Oh my god, man. This main character, man. He's freaking horrible. He's two timing here at the same time, man. What a power, man. The Potter guy is, is amazing. Yeah, getting seduced with some more waifus, the whole shit, man. Yeah, no, she's all like, so draw it. I mean, I, I don't like you or anything, but maybe we can do it, so yeah, like... Yeah, no, 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 she's getting all sundra, that's it, yeah. Obviously. Of course. I'm an adventure, you know, but also a girl, yeah, she's gonna be super so draw it. <laughs> oh, they look so cliche scene, man. He's going all sudden. Right? And the witch is like, oh, I see. She's touched her, yeah. Of course, the witch is very onisha. She's also going to be like, oh, I see. Yeah, she wants to sleep with him. Oh, I get it. Yeah, of course, it's also the witch is very open with her, you know, relationships, right? Okay, so then he goes home and he cleans him in his bath or something. He cleans his poltergeist body. <laughs> it feels so weird. Yeah, he's like, ah, he's throwing some water on him. You know, I've got a, he got acid on him, whatever. Got some, you know, got some use for some girls, you know, yeah, got some, got some thirsty ladies, you know, yeah. got to clean them up, you know, after the dark deeds, yeah. Makes sense, I suppose. Yeah, it's, a, <laughs> it's an adventure now. <laughs> this, this, this is so weird, man. Like, but how does it work for the main character, right? It's not really explained. Does his <laughs> poltergeist bro, is, you know, does he level up on this thing? Is he getting like level 1000 by <laughs> sending out his controlled ghost people to do stuff for him? Can he create more of these then and be in a lot of parties? He can get so much XP, man. He can really grind the shit in this game. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah. Pong, pong Katta, the fat guy, yeah. Well, man, he's, he's obviously eventually gonna meet his adventures, you know, in his real body, right? Certainly. And that tomboy, the Sundry tomboy's gonna be like, Oh my god, I want to sleep with you, but yeah, she's gonna be all frustrated, right? Um, 
So it's an some other arc though. Hmm. Another great speech race project. Okay, here we go. A map, baby. Yes. Hmm. But yeah, I do, as I said last episode, I really do like this anime. It spends time on the map is on display. I'm going to take the army here, I'm going to do this thing. Um, so that should give some, uh, some bearing on the world building. Yeah, they're like, we, we're here now, we're going to go here. Or we, this thing will happen and so on. Uh, which is, you know, many animes where they just talk about their strategies, but they never don't even show their you know, world map or whatever. Uh, most certainly, I would say. Yeah, exactly. You need to like meet up those two. <laughs> oh, but this is good though. It's like expl explaining a base to capital. We're gonna battle this thing out, you know. Yeah, we're gonna have this uh, equilibrium. Krillian whales. Yeah, we're gonna have the Krillian whale equilibrium, right? Come on, we're not talking about. Very classic is do you measure uh, how many whales eat Krillian and so on, how that uh, affects the ecosystem in the aquatic life. Yeah, so very classic equilibrium mathematics. Um, like, yes, we need to control this thing. But I mean, this makes sense though, as a uh, piece of kind of college student, right? Kind of basic college math, you know. It's not like a five year old math thing, but it's definitely around that age, uh, college math level. Um, actually, probably earlier, depending on you, if you have your. depending on where you study, but uh, at least in college, you will study this kind of equilibrium math thing. It's like a second grade thing in college. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a big fan of drinking and eating someone on stream, right? But oh, I can't have this heat. Sorry about that. Yeah, I just can't handle the very heat stroke, man. Something like that. It's just ridiculous how uh, how hot this right. It really is. Let's see. I think it's kind of weird that he's spending so much time motivating them. Yes and no. I mean, he's a king, so you can just tell him to do that. But I'm sure it's better if they accept it, but... Uh... Hmm. Yeah. I just feel it should be more suspicious of him. I don't know. They're all, like, worshipping him already. Yeah, they... But it's like an easy kind of power fantasy in that sense, right? Yeah, they're all really worshipping him. Like all his men are like, yes, greatest king ever! Woo! Yeah, it feels a little bit like I really feel that this, you know, random boring <laughs> like bureaucratic men be like, Yes, best king! Like I feel they're a little too emotional for him. They kind of occupation you usually don't have many these kind of people. They're like, Yeah, the king's bureaucracy is so good! <laughs> yeah, it's like I don't really feel that's a very common behavior of this uh of that uh, general personality type. But look at this thing, mm, some seductive attack. Yeah, look at that wife coming here. I mean, the overall engaged after all. And she's the first of many wives, right? Gotta stop making those. He promised grandpa to make babies, right? Look at this. Mm -mm -mm.
Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm, you guys are too tired. See, he's dead to the husband. He's like, oh, I work too much, honey. You gotta get net to read me and said, yeah, I can't deal with this. His magic is really good though, both the guys in this hand, because he keeps working even though he's like sleeping basically. Like, he's not really sleeping, but you know, he's almost like falling asleep. But yet his magic just keeps going. So it's a very good magic in that It's a very effective magic because it keeps it keeps, you know, having its power even though. But yeah, so he's really turning into his like, you know, worried wife here. Oh you're overworking, honey! Let me kiss you a good bad kiss. Look at this, yeah. Exactly. She's really falling for him here. To be this caretaker wife here of her Overworking husband, yeah. Oh, a bitch episode, maybe? I don't know, it's a bitch at least. Yeah, bring with his poor elf waifu. Yeah, she's house hungry, of course. Uh, there's her thing, right? She eats everything. Um, I guess her personality is like being horny and hungry. So very thirsty, right? And then everyone bullies her. That's kind of her personality, yeah. <laughs> she's, the, she's the thirsty lady, and then, you know. Oh, it's the... It's the Adventure guy, right? See, she's just like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> she's like, you have some food on you? That's basically it, right? She's going more and more rim up in the episode. Yeah, do you have some food? I would love to have some food. Basically. But no, he looks exactly like. What's the tip name? And there's some clothes, the cleric guy from the uh, hero party. Hmm. This is a very light novel episode where nothing really happens. From the beginning, the fourth adventure, but I mean, now they're very, very. It's not terrible, but definitely feels just like a slow burn anime, right? I'm just like, hmm, okay. We see his god, yeah, and Kami some way. Do you believe in god main character after you've been isekai They have magic too, so I mean, god is probably a thing. Or oh, gods, more likely, you know, Kami some was probably a thing, right? Yeah, some other, you know, monsters or so on, demons, right? I mean, they don't have demons, so. Coming from the water. Some Nagas, perhaps. I don't know. Maybe it's just... Maybe it's just Kraken. Maybe it's just like an aquatic life. And they, 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 because they're medieval people, they might be thinking that some random water animal is actually a demon, but it's like, like a fish, surely. But yeah, Kajin. So almost Kajin, man! Is he a great gambler? That's the question. Is Kajin a great gambler? Kingu? Wait, what is she carrying some kind of woodlock to me? Yeah, why is the princess, why is Liska carrying some kind of like... She stands there with like a some kind of wood thing? I, I don't know, yeah, what, what was that? Let's see if it's something in her, that's the, what? Look at that, it was like a scroll or something, some kind of... It's a map, I guess, she's carrying a map. It looked like it was like square earlier, now it looks circular. I guess it's a map. Right, I think so. She's, yeah, she's carrying on the map, right? Yeah, exactly. But uh, it didn't look like... It, was, it didn't look circular, the first image. The first image looked like a square, like a rectangle. So I was like, wait, is it a map? What was it then? But yeah, when I saw it was circular, okay, so it's the map, of course. Hmm. Man, these poor ladies, they're <laughs> a little bit like that, honestly. They have the three men discussing, and his wife can sit, can sit and shut up on the corner. <laughs> a little, honestly, a little bit like that. They use his properties, yeah, like the men. The men have their meeting and the lady is going to sit quiet in the corner and look and stare at his buttocks, yeah. His wife was going to look at his ass, that's kind of like a little weird, honestly. Like he's not asking his wives for their opinion about this uh, strategy, like if you sit there and be quiet in the corner. Little strange scene actually, looks a little weird. It is of course generally how his life is, he kind of treats his wife as his properties mostly. 
honestly, the hills and tea. Can I just push them along with him? Oh, let's go with my strategy. Yeah, like not really ask them for their opinion on most stuff. He just kind of tells her what to do, right? He's like, oh, look at this cotton thing. It's too overproduced. Yeah, it doesn't really like tell him. Uh, here's the, yeah, but when I think about it, he doesn't really ever ask Liska for her opinion. Extremely rarely does he ask for she things, right? She's mostly just like his plus one. He's just follows him around. I mean, but that is true though. She's mostly his exposition dump, right? He's telling her his strategies, so, so we, the viewer, can be like, oh, we want a smart guy, I like this guy, yeah, so we can listen to his strategies. She's mostly there to be like, out oh, the viewer's expositional part, definitely, but I think about it, certainly, certainly. But if it's very obvious now when we see these three men, he's talking about, you know, oh, yes, the strategies, yes, the strategies, and his wife's gonna just, just to say a word, it's for like five minutes now, he's gonna... To use part of the meeting. <laughs> I haven't thought about it before, but it's so clear in the scene that, yeah, look at these poor ladies. They just sit there and look look pretty. Yeah, shut up and look pretty. I just cannot see it now when I when I realize this thing. Holy shit, man! He's uh, see, like he's having a conversation with the two men, right? Purely, and his two wives, they're just there to look beautiful in the inside, right? See, and they have reaction face here. These guys are like, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, interesting, interesting, right? These three guys are like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. They have this amazing strategy <gasps> and reaction faces and so on. They're like, wow, well, yeah, good point. And the wife is still sitting there in the corner. Doesn't say anything. Doesn't zoom in their face. They're not really part of the anime. They just need to be eye candy. <laughs> no, but but, I, but, I, but I, I, can't see, I can't see it now. Holy shit, they, they're kind of pointless, uh, his wives. Man, what a scene, man. It's been, I mean, I said it earlier too in a similar way, but this scene is the most blatant one. Like, by far the most blatant one. We've had this meeting for like three, four minutes now, and the two ladies haven't said, said, haven't said a word. Um, yeah, they're not, they're not allowed to be part of the conversation. They don't have any brain. Well, Aisa is a stupid girl, though. Yeah, she's an idiot, though, and poor dark elf. She's pretty stupid, though. She's only, only horny and hungry, yeah, so I mean, she's like. I suppose. Um, and Liz got at least the exposition up. Yeah, certainly she is. Um, I know the camera doesn't um, look pretty. Maybe if I say a single word. Ah, here we go. No, I just like, he's so attractive, isn't he? I want to have sex with him. Yeah, okay, they're finally saying, like, I want to have sex with the main character. Yeah, me too. He's so pretty, he's so hot. He's the best king ever. I want to do it with him right now. Yeah, they're finally like, oh yeah, you're right. Let's do it together, girl. Yeah, let's do it. Are you also in love with him? See, they did it. Man, this anime really doesn't have you know finished the the the, the best your test. Yeah, these ladies are quiet for like five minutes, and eventually they finally talk during the meeting, and they're like, do you want to have intercourse with him too? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm in love with him too. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I'm so in love with him, yeah, and then like here staring at his beautiful face. But it, it, it does fit though, early push kissed him, he was sleeping though. So it fits to some extent though with what they were earlier, <laughs> what they were showing earlier. But uh, no, I mean, certainly it, it was, I mean, I, I, to be fair, it did build it up and she kissed him right earlier. She's clearly falling for him, you know, very classic uh, you know, princess falling for the main character, you know, yeah. So it, it does like, it does build it up, certainly. Uh, to be fair, like it, it does, it's, it's, it's consistent with her earlier actions. That she's now being all horny right for him and you know dreaming about her man, uh, sitting and staring at him. But really, I feel like an awkward scene though. Really felt like an awkward scene to me. And I really made me. Really, I mean, I said earlier too, she's up. She's, she's, she's there. She's mostly there used to you know him have the main character tell her stuff right. But but it's, but it feels like this in here. He just talks to these two other guys. He spends like, you know, yeah, like a, probably a good five minutes, almost, talking to these two characters. And then, behind the hem, he's just sitting his two wives, right? And they don't say a single word for the whole meeting. They just sit there, they just sit there, he, just, he never asks about their opinion, never asks his supposedly intelligent princess what she thinks about his strategies during this meeting. She's just completely quiet, and then when they, when they kind of over the meeting, the priest is like, hey, do you want to have sex with the main character too? She's like, oh yeah, yeah, I want to do it. Yeah, we both want to F him, right? Yeah, girl. Should we do it together, maybe? Maybe, yeah, he's so hot. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> like basically, yeah, like this. They didn't take part of the meeting, and just eventually they were just like, 
Oh man, um, um, uh, yeah, I, I just wanna, I just wanna smash him so much, yeah, <laughs> like, I just wanna smash, yeah, I, oh yeah, he's so hot, like, that is, that is basically, uh, yeah, that, 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 this is the anime, yeah, um, this is, uh, <laughs> but I mean, I have thought about before, how she is so pointless, because she really is, I mean, sure, this is a love interest, right? She kisses him and they have this love thing going on. But most of the time, let's be honest here, she's mostly there to be, you know, uh, an exposition dump where he just explains to her, oh, maybe we should sell cotton, you know, we could buy gold, maybe. Yeah, it's, you know, like, she's, she's mostly there so he can explain his strategies to her, right? Instead of having his inner, inner you know, monologues, whatever, reflection, right? He's like, yeah, um, that's clearly her thing. It's her main goal, of course. But uh, that scene is kind of sad, how she's such a known character. This was kind of cute though, how his poltergeist is also smashing some waifus. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like poltergeist, is also seducing some girls. He's out there getting laid too. He's got his own tomboy, he's like a Sundra tomboy. I'm an adventurer, but yeah, I was my boyfriend, so you know, maybe when I do it, yeah. He's getting some weird, like, yeah, he's adventurer. He's, his poltergeist out adventuring for some uh, waifus also. So he's also, you know, working, his, working on extending the harem army to eight there, yeah. He's helping out get that eight waifus. Very good ghost guy. Very good poltergeist. Helping out get those waifus. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, subscribe to the episode. See you guys. Please, of course, great Yaya and Tokyo Revenge later tonight. And earlier, people talking about uh, this new pirate anime, Fear Not a Pirate. That's tomorrow early. It's not today. And I said earlier, it was like two, two episodes, I think. But it's tomorrow. And I don't know what's at middle of the season, but whatever. I think it's a new, new original anime tomorrow then. Because it's airing like 6 or 7 in the morning or something in Japan tomorrow. So yeah, it's definitely on Sunday. Um, but anyway, so that's tomorrow, not today. I think. A little unsure because it's, it's, it's supposed to be like a double special or something. So I'm not sure what it even means. But uh, probably, very unlikely today then. Uh, or earliest tomorrow. Uh, it's my guess. But uh, see, Sumit Yaya will not be defeated.